In today's episode of BizJet TV, we're going to talk about five reasons why an aircraft buyer should be paying a broker. Now, this is something that's often discussed. Um, a lot of people decide, you know, they don't want to use a broker. Um, I broker aircraft. I like to call myself more an aviation advisor than a broker uh, because I do a number of things besides brokering uh, in the aviation space. But anyway, let's look at these five reasons. The first reason is because it's hard work. And believe me, it's hard work uh, brokering aircraft. Uh, because you've continuously got to research the market, you've got to continuously network. Uh, sometimes networking uh, requires traveling on the other side of the world to for a few days at an event uh, to meet other people that are in the aircraft sales business, um, and or going to you know family office conferences and meeting people that uh, you know have aircraft and seeing if they're interested in selling, you know, and finding out. Uh, what's available off market, you know, all this kind of thing. And this just takes time and and it's hard work. Um, so that's reason number one. Reason number two is the broker is going to be on your side. So basically the way this should work is you hire the broker, you pay them a retainer fee up front, and then you pay them the rest of the money um, upon the close of the sale. So you are the buyer, they're working for you. Um, uh, I mean, what I do is I charge a flat fee. So there's a certain amount up front and a certain amount at the end, depending on the nature of the airplane and the transaction, um, that will be decided uh, with with the client directly. Um, and you know, the broker is now on your side. Uh, the broker knows, you know, they've been paid some money already. They know you're serious. They know that you know when they start ringing round, that the people that they're ringing are not going to be getting four phone calls for the same client, because uh, this really uh, doesn't make anybody look good. Uh, believe me, and it doesn't make you look good if you're the one that's looking to buy an aircraft because what happens is you, you're talking to four or five brokers and they're all speaking to the same owner and they're all quoting the same airplane back to you at a different price uh, because you're not paying them so they have to get money from the other side because no one works for free. Uh, and this just creates a big, big mess for everybody and gives you a bad reputation and uh, and makes it just life so much more difficult for the broker. I mean, I used to do this. Um, I used to sort of, people would call me up uh, want an airplane and then I start ringing around you know after you've done this for a while you notice it leads to a road called no money um, and you realize well you know if this guy was serious he would pay me a retainer fee up front so I started charging people retainer fees up front you don't want to pay the retainer fee fine um, then go somewhere else but it's it's for you I mean at the end of the day you should be hiring somebody that's going to work for you and that's really really important so the broker will be working for you the third win uh, is you know this person knows the market i mean they're doing this all day long uh it's not enough for you uh, aircraft buyer to sort of go on uh, the internet and go to you know avbuyer.com or controller.com or any other website where aircraft are listed for sale and think oh ah there we go there's four Learjets jets for sale i'll just pick the phone up and call the guy and see which which is the the lowest in price and off i go uh, you're not going to be getting sound advice on the other end because that person you're talking to is working for the seller not for you um, and their, their their goal is just to sell you the airplane the fourth uh, thing is that broker will handle all aspects of the transaction and this is really really important because people think that the, the the most important thing in all this is to find an aircraft so that's why they go to these websites online, um, look at these pretty pictures, assume that this is a good deal and off they go. Now, understanding and knowing the market uh, is important. Uh, also handling the transaction, the legal side. I mean, a good broker advisor will be working with a good law aviation lawyer and you need an aviation lawyer. You can't use your lawyer that you use to buy, you know, your Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise the other month. Uh, because this is this is um, very often a transaction that's uh, happening across borders. Um, so it's an international transaction. There are certain laws in other countries and that. There's importation laws. And all these aspects need to be handled by a good aviation attorney. Um, also, the other thing which is important is a pre-buy inspection. You have to have pre-buy inspection done and it needs to be done uh, by a reputable company. I, I did a transaction before Christmas and we decided we were going to do a boroscopic check on the engine because that particular aircraft had, w w that type of aircraft was having problems and and half of them had been uh, they'd found corrosion in the engine uh, which you don't find if you don't do a coro uh, um, boroscopic check so um, so we did a boroscopic check and there was there was no findings the aircraft was fine uh, but that just gave a little uh, certain level of comfort to to the buyer um, and so then we were able to complete the transaction. So, you know, these are all things and, and every airplane is different. And so, you know, um, that's important. Also, uh, where are you going to register this airplane? Uh, that's important. You also have to uh, think about uh, once the airplane is delivered, um, who's going to fly it? And so uh, in my case, I will find crew for you. 
um, and you know to crew the airplane that's both pilots and flight attendants um, and you know in today's market it's difficult to find good people because there aren't many out there um, there's a pilot shortage and the pilot shortage is going to be continuing uh, way into 2030 um, and all the stats talking about pilot shortage are not uh, taking into account all those pilots which have um, either died or been damaged by by the vaccine um, this is a piece of news that's coming out more and more now every day um, and so you know there's going to be a lot more pilots that will be failing their medicals over the next few years and that's just going to increase the, the pilot shortage even more so um, you know uh, that's another thing uh, which needs to be thought about who's going to fly the airplane for you where you're going to keep it you're going to keep it in a hangar or not are you going to charter out when you're not using it again your advisor will be able to help you with all these things as well and that's really really important it's not just enough to buy a nice pretty airplane and put it on the ramp uh, you've got to think of all these things maintenance is another one as well that needs to be thought of who's going to do your maintenance um and all these kind of things and number five is overall you know uh, your broker or advisor will act as your trusted advisor um dur during the whole transaction you know they'll be handling everything for you so you don't have to start you know figuring all these things out on your own they will talk to you uh, and go through the step-by-step -step process and say okay we need this we need this we need that we need money in escrow tomorrow uh, we need this amount in escrow because um you know we, during the pre-buy inspection we found that you know this certain uh, maintenance event is coming up in three months time so we want to negotiate the cost of that inside the deal as well these are all things that your trusted advisor will be able to do for you because they know the market and this is really really important i mean this is not like buying a house or a car we're buying an airplane the airplane goes into the air so it's important that you know you have somebody guide you through this process and this person needs to needs, needs to be paid and and the way the market is today i'd certainly uh, advise you to uh, i mean if the the broker does not ask for a retainer fee up front you offer a retainer fee up front it just sends a very very clear message that you're serious um, and you'll get a much better uh, service from your broker advisor if they see some money up front um, and that's really really important and they'll do a good job uh, make sure that the person that you choose can help you with all the other things from legal for pre buy inspections hiring pilots looking for a management company if you, the airplane is going to be managed and all these aspects as well and figuring out you know what jurisdiction you're going to put the airplane into if it's going to be on an Isle of Man reg Cayman reg US reg um, whatever it may be uh, and why um, are you due to pay importation tax on the aircraft? Can that be avoided or can that be, you know, offset? Uh, these are all things that uh, your, your trusted advisor will be able to do for you. But again, uh, if you're paying them some money up front, uh, they'll be more than willing to do that and a lot more and fall over backwards to make sure that this transaction is flawless. And at the end of the day, you get your airplane operating uh, the way it needs to be operated. So, you know, the last thing you want to do is buy an airplane that in three months time is going to have a maintenance event it's down for a few weeks then spare parts can't be found because you bought a really old airplane and those parts are difficult to find and so you end up with no airplane for three or four months that could have been avoided if you'd used a, a good trusted advisor so the other thing is don't go into the transaction thinking i want to buy this type of airplane uh, talk to your advisor about your needs um they will kind of understand more uh, about um, where you need to go and how often and how many people you're carrying do you need to carry cargo as well all this kind of thing and then they'll be able to steer in the direction of the right airplane sometimes people you know come up with these fancy ideas and they know nothing about these airplanes and they don't really know what these airplanes can do so it's important to have an advisor that can help you in selecting the correct airplane um, for your needs um, and that's really important too. so uh, those are the five points um, I'd like to hear from you uh, what are your thoughts on um, uh, hiring your own trusted advisor to um, buy an aircraft or a broker, however you want to call it. And let's get the conversation going with your experience. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Budget TV if you haven't done so already. And give me a super thanks if you really enjoyed this one. And also check this other video out about the Falcon 10X, uh, great airplane coming soon. And that's all from Fabrice Poly on Budget TV, and I'll see you on the next one.